Welcome back. Classical music has traditionally never had an easy time attracting younger audiences. But a new venue in Miami hopes to change all that. Designed by Frank Geary, it features a sound garden and an orchestra made up of talented young Americans. From Miami, Andy Gallagher reports. The sound of the New World Symphony in its new home on Miami Beach. But this isn't just another stuffy concert hall. Even before its doors opened to the public, critics hailed Frank Geary's new creation as a masterpiece. But even the architect himself says it's more about function than form. It's a friendly place to be in to listen to music. And if, you've, uh, if you haven't uh, gotten involved with classical music, this is the place to to get it. <laughs> there are five acoustic sails in this performance space. Their first job is... This is one of the most advanced venues in the world, complete with a soundscape garden and giant projector screen. It means that the work of young musicians like Alexandra Early will reach a wider audience. It's bringing classical music up to that level of just regular um, everydayness in, in a good sense. It's not this unfamiliar, mysterious thing that no one knows anything about and that they can't really appreciate. We're, we're turning it into something that people can talk about around the dinner table and that they really understand. All the young musicians here have been hand-picked to be part of an intense three-year program. At the end of it, they'll go on to be the future stars of classical music. In the meantime, their talents, combined with the inclusive nature of the building, aim to spread the word. I've heard people saying that they can hear it inside their hotel rooms. and It's got to be exciting. It, it's uh, When you hear something being played well and something that's enticing to listen to, it, it would make me want to come. This entire campus then is packed with all the latest technology, new toys for musicians and fans alike. But more than anything else, the New World Center is about reaching out across the generations and attracting new audiences. Some might call it a fanfare for the common man. And for the man who made all this happen, it's about handing over a certain amount of control to his students. There need to be people way younger than I am and of way more diverse backgrounds than I have. People that that the audience can watch or young people can watch and think, hey, there's somebody that they're a lot like me and look how much they're into this and how much their passion they're giving it to it. Well, maybe there's something in this for me too. The New World Center then hopes to inspire, attract and advance classical music in all its forms. And with this new venue, anything seems possible. Andy Gallagher, BBC News, Miami Beach, Florida.